Few would have anticipated the disaster that struck in October 1954, and none would have been a greater instrument of change for Toronto than Hurricane Hazel. Okay, we're at the Humber River, just south of Lawrence Avenue, and on the night of the hurricane, uh, 30 feet or uh, 10 meters of water came down this valley in a space of eight hours. And many people were trapped in their houses, many people got trapped in their cars as they tried to cross bridges, and they uh, unfortunately passed away as uh, they were swept down into the Lake Ontario. The police, army, militia, boy scouts and Salvation Army were all called in to help with the emergency, including nine firemen from the Kingsway Lambton Fire Volunteers who were now stranded in the valley. Who were at the time thought they were perfectly safe and then all of a sudden their truck just got hit by this uh, big wall of water and it rolled. Of the nine firemen that were uh, sitting on that truck, uh, five of them perished. Toronto was in shock. The Army had to provide water, food, fuel to get people out of their houses. But there's also thousands of uh, dead farm animals, pigs, cattle, horses. And uh, the warm weather, it's a beautiful day just like this. Uh, following the hurricane, uh, all these bodies were beginning to rot. And also the broken trees and everything. So they had to take bulldozers and push everything in huge piles together, then set fire to them with flamethrowers. And it was just a very surrealistic uh, War of the Worlds type of scene. Hazel was the mightiest hurricane to ever come so far inland, 960 kilometers from the Carolina coast. 81 people died, flooding rivers took out 20 bridges and 4,000 families were left homeless. Hazel changed the Toronto landscape forever, leading to dams and water conservation areas, better park and ravine management, and laws banning home building on floodplains. So using Hazel's high water mark as the benchmark, they expropriated all the properties, farms, houses, businesses that were down in the valley, and they were uh, demolished and to make way for this beautiful park system. It's one of the finest in North America. It runs for hundreds of kilometers and all, it spread out through the entire Humber and Don River watershed system. And it's uh, a real uh, blessing to the, the Toronto community. So although Hazel at the time was a horrible event, her legacy is this wonderful park system. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.